Hey guys, how's it going? It's Life Today's here with Fiber MC Channel, bringing you the Friday blog. Something I want to start doing every week is on Friday and Saturday, I'll be uploading two blogs involving Magic the Gathering. Now, if you haven't noticed, I've been doing a lot of Magic stuff lately. Um, that's been another reason why I haven't been uploading videos so much, is I've been so stuck into Commander that I really have had almost no time. And then every single Friday, I always go to Friday Night Magic at my local comic shop called Comic World. I always go. I always tend to do fine um i'm always playing standard and if it's not standard i try to do draft i haven't been uh, able to get all the money to be able to do it a uh, whole lot yet um so the big, big thing with this is is i'm going to record the friday's one on thursday so before i go and then saturday's one will be recorded friday night when i get back from friday night magic and i'll go over all the stuff about um what i won how i did the problems with my decks the good things about my decks deck techs new or uh lore about the game and uh, then typically Saturdays we tend to play, um, we tend to play Commander, always at Perkins, and uh, we go, we play, or we don't even go to Perkins, we go to Comic World, we do whatever we can to play. So I'm going to go over real quick just a couple things about um, my deck for tomorrow, and then uh, a couple things about Commander, my new Commander deck, and then um, some new stuff. So my standard deck at the moment is Cynic. I am running... Green blue. I'm running green blue control giant creatures. Um, the point of my Cynic deck is more or less counter your big stuff. Cool. Yeah, my deck is an evolved deck. It's more or less um, my stuff gets bigger. It comes down and it just likes to destroy your face. Um, I am running private crew fix, so I do have that ability to untap my lands and creatures during your turn instead of just mine, um, allowing me to double counters easier with Voral and uh, get down my bigger creatures faster. Uh, a problem I've been running into has been Flyers, um, what is his name? Master of Feasts. I've had a lot of trouble with him, but my answer to Master of Feasts is three Arbor Colossus. Say hello to a 6-6 six, six for five with Reach. Yeah, and I have a lot more green mana in this deck than there is blue. Um, running Gyre Sage, uh, is basically a super elvish mystic. Um, here I have him right here. Gyre Sage, it's pretty cool. Um, it gets evolved a lot, and then I have a lot of things to add counters so that it can tap for more mana, effectively monsterizing Arbor Colossus, or just having Arbor Colossus down. Um, another thing I've added as of recently, which tomorrow I actually have to go buy two more of, it's funny, I never buy commons. You never really see yourself buying commons, and then you have that one day where you just don't have that one common you need. Uh, that's kind of the case with this. I'm, I probably actually end up do having a bunch of him. Um, I'm just really lazy, and I'd rather not go through my entire box and I can spend 50 cents and just get two of them. Um, is Nimbus Swimmer. Now, my deck generates a lot of mana off Gyre Sage. Gyre Sage is something that's always evolving, always adding counters on, and then I'm using my Scourge and Skulk of all to tap, sacrifice it, or uh, use Ooze Flux to make the ooze off of the counters, then sacrifice it to Scourge, hit the Scourge, Scourge has Trample. But, Gyre Sage. He's going to be really good for Nimbus Swimmer. Nimbus Swimmer is X and green and blue. He comes in with X plus one plus one counters, where X is the paid mana cost. Um, besides his default, and he has flying. So it's going to be really good against the ground decks. Um, get him down, turn three or turn four. Uh, if I'm really running into trouble with being able to attack, um, when this comes to worse, I get Voral the Hulk wave down. I double his counters every single turn, he just keeps getting bigger. Um, another card I've added, well, I have three Nimbus Swimmer. Another card I've added is Forced Adaptation. A green to add a plus counter at the beginning of your upkeep to the target enchanted creature. Um, it's really, really good. In my deck, I wouldn't have ever suspected that um, something so, you know, not really paid attention to would have been so good. Um, also to my sideboard, I've cut out my Nessian Wild Ravagers to sideboard. I find I don't really need it that much. My bigger creatures are typically scourged to, um, my Arbor Colossus, and when I can just play an Arbor Colossus and say, hey, Arbor Colossus is now monstrous, destroy your Master Feasts or whatever hit you have that's flying, yeah, now he's a 9-9 with Reach. I'm not too, in, I'm not too worried about having a 12-12 Hydra that I'm not, um, concerned about. I also added 3 Fog into the sideboard just in case. I've been running into a lot of giant combo outs, and it's gonna be that, oh, you're comboing out, okay, Fog. Oh, you're gonna counter my Fog? Counter your counter spell. Um, and then Predator's Rapport. Predator's Rapport is 2 colorless and, uh, green to choose target creature you control. Is it you control? Yes, target creature you control. You gain life equal to its power plus its toughness. If I'm running Scourge or any of my creatures, really, I'll have plus counters besides Bull, but I would never use it on Bull. Um, okay, so say I have like a 20-20 Scourge, double counters on Scourge, it's a 40, Predator's Rapport, I gain 80. 
GG. <laughs> And it's not commander, so I don't gotta worry about uh, taking commander damage just to die off that, and in fact, it's not standard. So, I mean, my deck overall should be doing better. I have a solid, a lot more solid mana base than the last couple times. I do now have four Temple of Mystery and four Breeding Pool in it. Uh, the Scrylands are really good, and Breeding Pool is that occasional, I need this land now, yes, I'll take the life, it's fine. Um, so, I mean, that's standard, and then... Uh, so tomorrow I will upload how I did. Um, I am going, and I'm going to go play standard, hopefully. Out of the four rounds, I do do at least two and two. Um, so win two, lose two. So here's something else I want to talk about. Here is some stuff about commander. Commander, if you don't remember, is you choose a general. Has to be legendary. Only one of each type of card in your deck has to be the same colors as your general. But you can run the same amount of like basic lands. My new general is... I don't know how to say him, it's like Tarlan Tar 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 Sky Summoner. Two colorless and two blue. Whenever you play an instant or sorcery, put a 2 2 flying Drake onto the battlefield. So, this is, um, he's a Merfolk Wizard, by the way. So, this deck is really focused around instant sorceries. A lot of draw spells, um, it's actually even a, a bunch of blue sleeves. Uh, so, yeah, it's it's forced around a lot of instants and sorceries, a lot of hand control. Um, it's kind of my everybody wins deck because I'm not straight up murdering you like I normally would. Um, but it's still an everybody wins because there's more or less, I'm making other people draw as well, but I'm keeping myself protected with gaining life off when I draw. Um, if you don't remember, my two other generals would be Nekasar the Mind Razor, which is a zombie wizard with, at the beginning of each player's upkeep, they draw an extra card as long as you control Nekasar. I, want to, I, I run a lot of damage with draw spells, because whenever a player draws a card, they take damage off Nekasar. So I play things like Whispering Madness, and I force them to draw an extra card, cards equal to their hand. Well, I always run infinite hand size, a lot of infinite hand size cards in Nekasar. Make my hand really big. Okay, everybody take whatever my hand is. You know, that's, that's not that bad of a card. Um, Nekasar is one of the most hated on generals because he's so overpowered. You can force them to just to take so much damage off draw. And then another one is a is a little known guy named Doran. Doran the Siege Tower is a 0-5 uh, for a green, a black, and a white. Each creature assigns combat damage with their butt. Yeah, they deal damage with their toughness instead of their power. So Doran's really around low-cost, big toughness creatures. And I even have a Knight of the Reliquary in there. A lot of people have been hating on Knight of the Reliquary. Um, it's like a five to six dollar card, you know. Oh, five to six dollars, but okay, so tap it, sacrifice a forest or planes. Go get any land out of your deck. Yeah, that's a good. And it gets a plus counter for each land in your graveyard. Sack a bunch of land, you'll be good, and then you don't really gotta worry. So um, I just wanted to thank you guys for coming to check out um, my Friday blog. Uh, I'm doing the Fridays and Saturday Saturday ones, like I've said, and I'm really not too worried about uh, getting late in on uploading them because this one will go up tomorrow while I'm leaving for Friday Night Magic. Uh, I'll probably go out and water my garden and upload it well then. It's not going to be that long. Um, and then tomorrow when I come home, I'll start the next one and I'll show you guys my spoils and then some other things about what's been going on. Thanks.